Greetings, dear sisters. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. And so we meet again. And so many of you will say, well, I don't recall us meeting before. My partner steps away. This is, is it not, the multidimensional aspect of all that you teach. And that is, do we know each other? Have you heard of Cryon? In the past, and the answer was probably not. And yet, perhaps you would recognize the energy. I would like to talk in ways we've not talked before. Just for a moment, the channeling today was about evolution. And the evolution was in consciousness. One of the things that starts to awaken with an evolvement of who you are is remembrance of the Akash. And in the case of those old souls who are in the gender that you're in now, you remember things that perhaps Others don't. And that is the Lemurian in you. The question was asked by Melly Ha. How many of you felt when you heard the word Lemuria that you were connected? Or there was something you wanted to know? Or that it rang with your psyche? And here you sit because of it. Perhaps some of you are not aware that is evolution. For the bells that go off in, in your mind when you, certain, when you hear certain things, or perhaps even when you see certain things, they start triggering something that was not there a few years ago. You're starting to awaken. An evolvement is taking place. Let me tell you one of the ones that some of you have felt. We have never spoken of this. When you first saw spiritual systems, did it bother any of you that all that was presented to you had the leadership from a male? Did it bother you that the prophets were male did you resound to them and some of you will say well eventually I did all as well but honestly in the Akashic remembrance that's not the way it was not at all it would explain why so many are so attracted in one of the systems to Mother Mary. Not a prophet, supposedly just the mother of a prophet, <laughs> and yet so much more. There is an overwhelming feeling of those who are awakening, who are of your gender, of something I want to bring up tonight because I want you to remember this. I want you to remember a Pleiadian. Every single one of you has either the direct knowledge or the descendant knowledge of what it's like to sit at the feet of someone from the stars. And in that you are sitting in front of the energy of any prophet on the planet. Can you envision for a moment and relax finally into the arms of a mother, an ancient mother, whether it was yours or the descendant of yours? 
is still in the seed which is you. And if you can imagine for a moment that that mother standing in front of you from the stars, the Pleiadian, this is the one who taught you as a child. For this mother is the one who organized the teaching circle, who actually did the teaching. The children were enamored. The adults were enamored. There was never a question of who she was. Ladies, this is your model, not a prophet that came later. I want to say that without offending anyone. But you can relax into the arms of this paradigm. This is the one. These are the ones who taught you, who nurtured you, who you looked at and you knew they weren't from here. There's something about that. And what it is is that the residual of it remains. The very soul that you have that longs for this finally is starting to let you see it inside to feel it now this is not to be worshipped this is to be remembered for the Pleiadian mother was the example of the DNA that you carry of where earth can go someplace but the model is important for this is what you emulate dear ones not the prophets of the planet not some soul memory but the Pleiadian mother the men don't have this they don't have this because the system was not set up for that the system as we've said before so many times was set up for the female because it was the female who was equipped for compassion, for birth, for creation, for understanding, for wisdom, for tolerance. It was the female who had to then take care of the children who grew to teach them, to understand them, to tolerate them, to go without sleep because of them. And these are the attributes that you also need to teach the spiritual things of the planet, to be tolerant of those who don't understand, to be compassionate with those, to love those who have the aha moment. And all of it came from the gaze you would have right now on the Pleiadian mother. Melly Haw had a Pleiadian mother, biologically, and she lasted a long time in order to teach what she learned, in order to emulate what she had. We've said this before. Her sacrifice is known, for she could not do it as long as she was allied. And that means married. The marriage had nothing to do with it. It was the alliance to the teacher. She had to be alone to begin this. She does not have to be alone to continue it. <laughs> but dear ones, it is because the female mother energy had to shine through by itself without help from a man. It had to be developed by itself without help from a man. I want you to see this model, for that's what we're teaching tonight. It's all inside you, without help from another gender. It's all inside you. The remembrance is there. The model is there. And the evolution of your Akash is going to bring it to you. Perhaps you'll visualize it in a dream. And it won't be the visualization of a face. It will be the remembrance and the visualization of a paradigm, of an energy that you relaxed within and went, oh, this is good. I remember this. What a beautiful teaching. 
that you would carry with you all your life. This is the original prophet, the one that you'd remember forever and reawaken to now and then teach others from it. That's the sisterhood. Let the channeling continue. And so it is.